We need a way to simplify and accelerate our effectiveness. How many would like to simplify and accelerate it to boot? That's what we're going to do right now. So to your point, we go to Claude. If you don't know how to go to Claude, it's actually at this point free. They do have a survey. If you decide that you'd like to pay for it, I'm trying to get the Claude API as an option in MechLabs AI. I've already applied for it. Wouldn't that be cool if you could shift between Claude and GPT and then put all over it these tools and programs we're writing and you know the methodology? So that's where we're going. But until we do... I'm not going to puff up MechLabs AI. I'm just going to do whatever tool is best for everything we're doing. Does that make sense? So let's do it to get us be honest about our weaknesses as well as our strengths. Claude too is easy. And if you missed it, you can go to the research briefings and we have an article that tells you step-by-step -step how to set it up. But if you just do a Google search, it's so easy. You can sign in with Google. It costs nothing. And you now have a tool that can handle 100,000 tokens instead of 8,000, which is GPT-4. 100,000 tokens is equivalent to 75,000 words, roughly. Now, because of that, and only because of that, also, Claude was designed a little differently, by the way. Its answers tend to be less wild and sometimes more accurate, I think. But let's go back to the notes. We drop the article here. In fact, I bet it's in my records. Let's go back and see. So you can see, I do not modify anything or make the replies better to make the teaching better. And if I were to keep going up, you would see where I inserted this article. There it is. And you will see where I began to interact with it. And it goes on. Now, let me go back to my notes. I said, please summarize the article, then outline it. Then tell me what parts could help me build better prompts. Do you see what I'm imposing on the article? Think. I'm putting a filter that requires GPT to go beyond the article and use its gigantic brain. I have a new friend. He's a genius. He's a genius, but he's only three years old. He knows everything, but he knows nothing. He has no life experience. He lacks wisdom, but his brain is amazing. Now, this is, of course, my friend GPT. And I went to my friend GPT, and I liked that article, but I need to simplify my analysis. So here I go. Boom. Please summarize this article and outline. So first it summarizes, then it outlines it. And then tell me what parts could help me build better prompts. This is where we stop, and that's the mistake. Well, in this article, if you read the summary, it's comparing tree of thought, prompt engineering, with chain of thought and other methods. I asked the most important question, which by the way, it didn't tell me in the summary. How well did it perform? Well, I know the overall rate, you know, is about 900%, but look at this. This is the individual rate. What happened in this article is we gave it three types of thinking activities and we compared its results by using tree of thought prompt engineering or other methods. Now look at the difference. These two methods, chain of thought, both of these methods, this is their accuracy on a game of 24, which is a strategy game. Look at here. Train of thought produced a 74% difference. Did you see that? Further, creative writing. Then many crossword puzzles. Look at the difference, 14, 15, 60. Do we all understand what we need to know without reading this article so far? Don't you? Tree of thought is better. What is the next question? This one I just put in there for you. Here's the exact answer, Isaiah, according to what I got, boom, from the article. So you could query this article with a very technical question. But instead... I said, please write an optimized prompt series template based on this paper. Boom. Now, tree of thought branches out. And so there are prompts and sub prompts. And here is the actual structure of each prompt and how it needs to be designed. I said, this is excellent work. But can you turn the bullet points into actual word for word prompts with blank spaces for the context? And we got these. Folks, something special is happening. Now, how can I take tree of thought in a complex academic article? and deliver a meaningful method to the cohort? That's a tough question. So I'm gonna to try to answer it in three ways. The ultimate answer is a problem solving app. And I don't wanna make it sound bigger or more, you know, my CTO is on here, he knows this, it's not a big deal. This is the beginning of this app working. I asked the app to develop a content marketing strategy. I'm not getting an answer now. I'm getting way more than that. It has launched a MechLabs code inside of MechLabs AI, and it is now laying out your steps, telling you what its task is, telling you when it ends. Most importantly for everybody on the call, to get the most value out of these big LLMs, we need to understand agency. And the way we've developed this method, which you're going to see launched, it's already in MechLabs AI, but I'm refining it. But all I can tell you is right now, I can go in here and build an entire complex project plan to execute something really important in marketing and get a quality of output I never could before. And here's why. The program causes GPT to produce an expert agent by going through all of its vast, let's call it its vast brain. It reaches into its brain, pulls components together, creates a world leading expert and stands them up to help you. But in the methodology, 
we ask it to stand up three experts and make them debate. Can you see the value there? And what starts to happen is amazing. And so let me show you something super practical for right now. Before and in any engine you're using and how to actually inject, Steve, don't shoot me because I'm oversimplifying, how to inject your software into the AI's operating system. Now, if you were to take the phrase I just said and you were to put it in front of a team of expert developers, I would have flunked a test with that answer because that's not really what's happening. But that is my best way to explain. And it means what really does happen. If you could create a program that filtered the way GPT responded, wouldn't it be great if you could upload that into the operating system and have all your answers shaped by it? Yeah, well, that's where we're going. We're going to use this as a temporary measure for marketing and advertising until MechLab's AI, until it's deliberately right where it needs to be as we're building it all out. I want to give you a shortcut to use with every engine right now, and then I'm going to show you how to double down on its power. Before I show it to you, I'll demonstrate it. I'm going to go to GPT. And I'm going to uh, start right here. And here's what I'll do. Let's form a question that has a strong opinion on something related to business. Somebody asked me a question about business, marketing, or advertising, where there might be a difference of opinion. Put it in chat. Kate, do you have one? What's your business, Kate? So we match uh, CFOs looking for right. part-time work with clients who, for whatever reason, want a fractional CFO. I'm going to say, what is the best way to reach entre entrepreneurs that need a fractional CEO, fractional CFO. CFO, yeah. I could make this much harder, but I just want to stop there for a moment. Here's why. So I ask a general question. By the way, I'm going to talk to you about the three levels of prompts in a minute and make it easier for you beginning today to work with the AI and get more answers, more productivity in your work. So what it's doing is it's beginning to answer this question in detail. By the way, the reason it's answering it so thoroughly and in detail is because of my custom prompt instructions, which I'm going to share with you in a moment. And I have new ones. If you did it last week, watch out for what's coming in a minute. But first, I'm just waiting for this to end so I can challenge it. Now, there are several things I can do when it finishes is this detailed and helpful response. But one of them is I can simply say, is this the most innovative approach? Now, I don't have to say anything. I could just hit the switch, but now I'm just going to do this. Watch, forward slash, debate. Are you ready? Now, what it's going to do, we'll see if the switch works. This gets interesting, folks. See what it's doing? This is part of my custom prompt instructions. What's it doing? Let's compare and contrast three different positions regarding the innovative approach to reaching entrepreneurs. Position one is the comprehensive approach. Pros and cons in a description. Position two is a digital first approach. Do you see what it's doing? It's standing up experts with a strong opinion and my next move is to make them fight it out. How many of you find this interesting? Now, you can see that I accessed this capability. I could have written a long, probably cumbersome prompt. It would have taken time. It might have taken several levels of refinement. But instead, I just did that. I'll do this now. Forward slash net. Did you see what I typed in? What just happened? Now, you need to know that what I'm doing is I'm borrowing from MechLab's AI, using it over here because of the pace of change. And this switch set of commands has been integrated in the GPT. And when I typed in forward slash net, it knows its job is to write a prompt for me to take over to Bing to do my internet research so that I can get real time internet data that wasn't trained a year ago, relevant, up to date and helpful in my decision making process. Every time it asks me for something that I'm not sure I have a good answer for, I go forward slash net. Writes a prompt. I search it on the internet. Bing, come back. So then here's what we do, right? Just for an example, I don't know if this is a good prompt. I'm going to copy it in your personal productivity setup that we trained. You should have some version of what I have here. And now I just hit the B at the top, Bing drop down with its connection to GPT. I now take that very same prompt and put it right here. Boom. And now I've got Bing starting to answer me while I'm continuing this expiration going on over here. And if I were to do this in MechLab's AI with that software you saw or that set of principles, rules, commands, that little package would dramatically improve all of these outputs. I took a piece of it, pasted it here, but it doesn't have our methodology. By the way, Kate, do you see the answer coming in? Boom, 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 boom. You know, I think some people should like just join the AI guild and not tell their boss. I just give them lots of amazing work. I mean, every morning he could wake up with stuff in his desk. that is like, whoa, where did, how do they, this person is killing it. All right. 
You want to learn how to do that real quick, simple, fast, easy, 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 easy. Here it goes. Because I am now going to take you to easy. Yeah. If everything else was hard, this is going to be easy. Are you ready? Preloaded command. Here we go. Boom. There are three levels you should work with AI. You should have a setup like this. When I want the internet, I just, I, I go over here and bing and type. When I want MacLab's AI, it's right here. Boom. If I want to use Claude, it's up here under my tools. If I want to use GPT, it's right here. If I want to create mid-journey, it's right here. You can actually see what I created recently in mid-journey right here. See how it happened? One, see, boom, boom. I picked this one. It enhanced it. Two prompts. All right, back to here. Here we go. This set of commands, let's review them, all of them together right now so that you understand them. When I use the command clarify, I use it normally when I'm in that solve process with that software because it restates the SMART goal, S-M-A-R-T is an acronym, summarizes the progress and recommends the next step. When I hit forward slash reason, it coordinates with the agent, whatever agent I was using at the time, to reason step by step and make recommendations. When I challenge, it argues against a previously stated position and gives me the other side. When I debate, it compares and contrasts three different positions from three different agents. When I craft a prompt for internet search, there it is, net, you just saw that. When I say change, it updates the goal or the agent involved. And when I say restart, the whole process begins again. Clarify will not work in its full form until you use it with MechLabs AI. Now, if I go over here to MechLabs AI and I type in clarify, I haven't answered all this, so it can't work yet. But if I typed in forward slash clarify, where the program is in place, both times in GPT or anywhere else, you get an answer. But in here, you'll get a carefully shaped answer. I'm going to come back to this in a moment. I'm going to go back over to here. And I'm going to suggest that with these simple commands set up properly, you can be working with chat at three levels. And I want to teach you those three levels right now. These don't exist in any literature, but I think they are natural divisions that I've experienced from the last year's work. The first level of work is being able to reach over here like in being and being very conversational. It's fast. It's natural. Ask a question. Do not feel insecure that your prompt wasn't brilliant. Do you understand? I want to tell you that if you're going to be using this all day long integrated in your life, you want to be able to quickly do a quick conversational, fast, natural question. What do you think we do with the answer to that question? The second level of prompt engineering is a refinement with powerful filters. There they are. Now think, I don't have to go study all the prompts in the world. I can ask my question conversationally and then select. I'd probably keep a shortcut of these in front of me. But if you ask GPT or Mech Labs, it'll tell you what the commands are if you know what they are. It'll give you a list right there. If I just type in, show me the commands. The question is, how do you get this process working inside of Claude and GPT? You want to learn that right now? Here we go. For, for GPT, it's dead simple. We're going to do it. How many of you have GPT-4? Who has plus and who has the normal? Who, if you have plus, hold up your hand. Plus is paid. It's not very much. I'd recommend it, folks. It, it costs you next to nothing. But this week, GPT just released the fact that even the free members can access custom instructions, not just the paid members. So last week or two weeks ago, I told you that was not possible. It is now possible. Watch what I do next. I'm going to go over to GPT. Now, I'm here at GPT. I'm going to go over to my three dots. Does everybody see this? Please, I want you to be able to work with this tomorrow. I click here. I go to custom instructions. Everybody see that? Now, this is what's different. I have that same template I gave you last week for how you put in the two basic areas you can write about. The first one is context about you and your work. And the second one, in my case, is to shape the responses. I tried even integrating the full Mech Labs program in here, and it can't do it. But it did allow me to drop all the commands in. And man, that's super practical. Do you follow me? So you, what you do, let's go back to our notes. At the first box, as you probably already did, you fill out this information and put it in there. You're going to get way better GPT responses. Then you will copy a line that you'll see in our notes from today and paste this into the second form in order to get stronger responses. Now, folks, I want to show you what's going to happen in Claude next. If you want Claude to work the way I just described it, all you need to do at this point, I won't paste the whole program in there. But I will paste these commands just like this. Watch what happens. Control C. If I go to Claude or GPT and do this, even without custom instructions, it will guide or shape the outputs. However, if it's not in custom instructions, you have to start each session with the commands. Does that make sense? It'll work all day long. But if you start over, you'll have to paste the commands in again. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go boom. Everybody see that? Then I'm going to go boom. Then I'm going to just test it. Are you ready? Uh, let's ask it. 
I haven't been in a conversation with it already about this, or I wouldn't have to write that little piece of context in. I would simply be working back and forth, getting answers, and I would simply type net. And if it works, Claude will produce for me a prompt for my three competitors because it now understands these commands are the way you're going to shape its outputs. Look at this. Do you know why it's doing that? Why it's clarifying? Because I wrote to Claude that I wanted, before it answered to me, I wanted to make sure it clearly understood my questions. In, a, in this same session, I told it to do that. So what did it do? Thank you for providing the list of available commands. I'm here to provide step by step to clarify how it's being real clear. All right. And so now it's clear. Then I just go boom. How many of you are finding this helpful? Can you see where you can take this? Okay. So you want, you're going to want to paste these commands and use this. What you're not getting from most GPT interactions yet or any of the LLMs is the depth of deep reasoning and thinking that's possible if you use tree of thought. All this is based on tree of thought. And along with it, when you work with MechLab's AI, it's not just these commands, but it has the rules and it has the agent appointing initialization step, which allows it to create the extra agents. It's sort of like you sat down with your team and you said, I'm going to build a house. And your team said, okay, we need an expert in architect. We need an expert here, an expert here, an expert here. I'm going to find the top five in the world. And each one of these, we're going to take the number one and we're going to come back with you with a project. How many of you know you'd never get the top guy in any of those categories, would you? Bill Gates might. You probably would. You don't need them now. Not kidding. There's stuff here you can get. These agents can be appointed by this massive brain to fully represent your interests and their specialized expertise. And then they can work together sort of like a series of forked branches in a tree of thinking where you keep refining and going back and revising to produce, to produce the best outcome. outcome.